Slowed down 14,000 times, it's clear that the kick or recoil of the high-precision M16 moves it very little. Not the AK-47. It's throwing itself around. Look at the end of the barrel. It's clearly flexing up and down. One reason for this wobbly performance is the way it works. What's happening when this is fired is, of course, the cycle rate's fairly high. And you've got a really big hunk of metal coming back. And it's slightly off-center. Not much, but slightly off-center. So th this thing's coming back and then coming back forward. So you've got really two violent acts going on. And then if you have the round going off, you have a third violent act going on. We set up targets at about 200 yards. It's an easy distance for a decent rifle. First up is the M16. What we're looking for is grouping, how close the shots are to each other. Every shot strikes close to the heart in the kill zone. Now, the AK-47. Only one of the five shots even tags the lower left edge of the paper. Not one strikes the kill zone. And it's clear from the design of the sights that the American weapon was designed to be more accurate from the very start. The sights are very good. Uh, you have a little peach sight here in the back, okay, which you can use for short range. And what you could do is you can actually flip it forward. And if you look on the back, you can actually see an L. That's for long distance. In the front, you have just a post with what, what we call bunny ears, which flare out. And what you do is you center your post in the center of your uh, rear sight, and you put it right on target, and you fire, and you should hit target. The AK sight is very crude. It's not as good as the peep sights that the Americans have been using since World War II. You take your front post, and you line it up with the little notch right here, and the top of the front post and the top of this bar will be level and you set your target right on top of those three points. This way. The Soviet solution was brutally simple. Take the heavy old rifle bullet and make it shorter and therefore lighter. The M16 uses a smaller, slimmer bullet. With far less recoil than the AK, the M16 gun can weigh barely two-thirds as much as the AK-47. The AK-47's heavier bullet may be slower and less accurate, but its sheer power is indisputable. We've set up these cinder blocks to simulate the wall of a building in a combat zone. First, the M16. Quite impressive. And now, the AK-47. We've also simulated a jungle environment with this 8-inch block of dense pine. At 28 yards, the M16 bullet fails to penetrate. And the AK-47? Can be better as rifles or as machine guns. They'll always be a design trade-off. The M16 is closer to a rifle. The AK-47? a machine gun. And you can see it clearly in the fire selector switch. The AK-47, when you start in the upper position, you're in the safe position. It also works as a dust cover. You drop down one notch, you're on fully automatic. The next notch is semi-automatic. This is primarily a machine gun. It's to be used on fully automatic. Where with an M16, your selector lever goes to the safe position, the semi-position, the automatic position.